CII established the Carol H. Dunn Award of Excellence in 1985 to honor an individual for significant achievement in improving the engineering and construction industry. This award is CII's highest honor and is recognized as one of the most prestigious awards of its kind in the industry. It is my absolute honor to be able to present CII's Carol H. Dunn Award today to Ann Ellis, the Executive Director of the Panco Foundation. Ann is a member of the National Academy of Construction and is a recognized structural engineer, trailblazer, and champion of innovation and advancement in the AEC industry. Her career extends over four decades, six continents, and numerous corporate roles, enabling dynamic growth and innovation in technology, business, and operations. And I think you've already been rocking how the world builds. True to the shared mission of organizations like CII and the Panco Foundation, and recognizes that industry advancement grows from a collaborative group effort. She now chairs the board of directors of the National Institute of Building Sciences as the first woman elected to serve in this leadership role in the Institute's 47th year history. Anne serves on the American Society of Civil Engineers Industry Leaders Council, and she chairs the board of the Structural Engineering Institute Futures Fund. Previously, Anne served as the 90th president of the American Concrete Institute, and for leading the Institute into a new global approach to building and sharing information, she was named among the most influential people in concrete construction in 2013. In recognition of her industry and professional achievements, Anne was inducted into the Virginia Tech Academy of Engineering Excellence and Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering Academy of Distinguished alumni. Additionally, she has been elected to hold an honorary membership of the American Concrete Institute, is a fellow of the American Society of Civil Engineers, and an honorary fellow of the Institute of Concrete Technology. CII is proud to call the Panco Foundation a partner under Ann's leadership. Before Ann joins us on stage, I'd just like to tell one brief story about a day this past June, uh, I had explained to the CII staff and the executive, the executive committee that it was one of my favorite days so far in working with CII, because that was the day that I contacted each of the CII award recipients to inform them that they had earned an award from CII. They were each so appreciative, so humble, and when I talked to Ann, she asked, Jamie, are you sure you've called the right person? And as we went on to talk, she also said, I'm stunned, I'm overwhelmed, and you made my day. Actually, Anne made my day as her response energized me even more about her award. And I just talked and talked. I probably shared half my life history and I may have interrupted her a few times. So after that conversation, I kind of wondered if maybe Ann felt like she had struggled to really get a word in edgewise. But thank you, Ann, for your countless contributions that have truly improved our industry and for all that you continue to do. We are honored to have you here with CII today. Please join me and Ty, Todd and share some of your thoughts, Anne. And I promise that this time I won't interrupt. Let's give Anne a hand again.
Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. And I'd like to thank the executive committee and of the CII and the champions that put my name forward and promoted me for this award. I'd also like to thank the amazing staff here with whom I've had the privilege of working, advancing research and innovation. To receive an award in the name of Carol H. Dunn is so humbling. What an accomplished man. He was a Lieutenant General in the US Army Corps of Engineers. And among many other things, he was director of the Titan II missile program and head of the Waterways Experiment Station in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Now, I don't know if you've ever been there or not. I have had the privilege of visiting, and it is one of the coolest places in our country. No surprise, Lieutenant General Dunn was a World War II veteran, a part of the great generation. A time that cultivated leadership and instilled competence and boldness. When these veterans came home, they began to transform our country. They helped build an industrial base, not only to support our military, but also to support our civilian lifestyle. They built industrial facilities, manufacturing facilities that produced cars and appliances and so much more. They envisioned and helped build homes fueled by a new home mortgage system that allowed many more to experience home ownership. They envisioned and built an interstate system to transport those manufactured goods and move people all around our country. To scale all of this, they created organizations to develop standards and share best practices, promoting quality and safety. In doing so, they built the foundation of our engineering and construction industry, one defined by innovation, advancement, and transformation. They truly made amazing happen. Subsequent generations have carried our industry forward, capitalizing upon and integrating convergent technology that allow us to do so much more. From construction equipment to process technologies, computers, the internet, mobile phones, and now robots, GPS, virtual technologies, and so much more. We do innovate, we do advance, and we do transform. Like those World War II vets, we continue to make amazing happen. My career started with a civil engineering degree from Virginia Tech a love for the smell, the fresh smell of concrete, and a basic finite element analysis skills that made me employable. I built my technical muscle at several engineering firms, privileged enough to work on iconic tunnel and bridge projects and later tall buildings, all innovation playgrounds. Then with my love of all things concrete, I had the privilege of representing the industry's efforts to scale advancement and innovation through codes, standards, and regulation. From there, I joined AECOM. And for 16 years, I held a variety of roles, including enterprise growth, sustainability, and innovation, ensuring the people, the solutions, and the processes were in place so that we can plan, design, build, and operate mega projects anywhere on this planet, including Antarctica. 
Today, as executive director of the Charles Panko Foundation, I have the privilege to collaborate with organizations like CII and PIP, developing future-forward solutions for 21st century problems. Charlie Panko, the benefactor of the Panko Foundation, like Carol Dunn, was a World War II veteran with the leadership, vision, and boldness to drive innovation, advancement, and transformation. Throughout my career, I've been an active volunteer at standards developing organizations, including the American Concrete Institute, working to modernize our guidance and our specifications. And I've been a voice of industry in Washington, D.C., sharing perspectives to help inform policy decisions that will scale our work and address our challenges. I am so blessed to be a part of this dynamic industry that makes amazing happen every day. But we all know that achievement in this industry is never singular. There are the educators that enlighten and inspire. There are the employers who entrust us with their clients and to honor and deliver upon their commitments. There are the coworkers that collaborate and commiserate. The bosses that share their visions and later in our careers accept ours. There are the friends that cheer us through life. There are those for whom we serve and those that serve alongside us. And there are the family members that support our efforts all along the way. By, ve being, by virtue of being a part of our industry, I am privileged to participate in meaningful collaborations that drive innovation, advancement, and transformation. It is the result of these collaborations that have gained your notice. Although given in my name, I dedicate this award to those, including many in this room, with whom I've worked. Together we, like Carol H. Dunn, make amazing happen every day. Thank you. <laughs>